Hey Dan, just wanted to get you a quick video since you miss, you're missing today's session. We're at Lowe's, here's Ishii, and then we have my dog Murphy. Yep, she's actually doing really well. She didn't really care too much about him when I brought Murphy out. Right now we're being very, very particular about her heel position. So I want that shoulder right in line with your leg. Okay, let's go. Good. It's slow. And she's kind of, I'm gonna hang back here. She likes to walk faster, so we really want this heel position to be a good one. I always want you to be able to make a right hand turn without having to fumble over or around her. So, once, as soon as she breaks that position, so right now I would hold down that e collar button and say heel or slow, either way, and wait until she fixes that position. So right now she's in an awesome position. This is what it looks like, and this is what I want you to be very, very particular about. So let's keep going. Slow. Good. Slow. Perfect. Okay. Right here, I want to put him in a down. Is she? Down. Mark down. Down. Good. Perfect. All right, so we changed things up a little bit. I don't know if you always put Ishii in a sit and then a down, but for um, she's old enough and she knows things well enough that I just want to put her straight into a down. So if you say down and she doesn't go down, then that's when I would want you to just use the e-collar and you're gonna tap every time you say down until she goes down. So she's got some really, really good focus going right now. She's not even worried about Murphy or about anyone else. And we've got some people down here that are a little bit of distraction. We're walking around them. She's doing really well with holding this. Good girl, Ishii. Good job. All right, so just down. Oh. Ishii, down. Perfect. Keep going. Down. Good. Awesome. So Good. she likes to break it after a few seconds when she thinks that it's okay. So we just want to make sure that you don't even necessarily have to move. He's still over here. You don't have to move towards her. You don't have to go up to her. You just want her to, you just want to repeat down. If she moves from where she was, that's when we would go back over to that um, place where she was downing. And I wouldn't even use the leash. I would just point down to where she was at and keep tapping on that e-collar until she comes back to that place and downs. So she's doing really well. Go ahead and release her. Okay. Good. Good. All right, Dan, just wanna get you this video and then we'll see you for week nine.